If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's Texas. Welcome back to another episode of my five things you didn't know about zombies series. Now, the last episode we covered Varrock. This week we're gonna be talking about Shinonuma, learning a little bit about some of the things that you possibly didn't know about the map. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it, guys. As always, if you enjoy the episode, leave a like, leave a favor. It does get the content out there, helps the channel grow. And of course, if you are new, if you want to see more content like this in the future, then make sure to subscribe. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it and talk about some of the things you possibly didn't know about Shinonuma. Shinonuma has a hidden paper in the downstairs area of the starting hut that reads Diglock as well as the Reese. And this is actually a reference to not only the real life event, but is also a teaser for the final DLC for World at War. So that I thought was a pretty sick one. You can actually find it downstairs in front of a burning wall. So if you find it, there you go. It's a little bit of a teaser to a real life event along with DLC. All right, so coming in at number two, Shinonuma actually has a meteor just outside the map that pulsates when shot and also prompts characters to to talk about it so this is actually one that a lot of people have already seen but if you haven't seen this one it's a giant meteor and it's a big reference to not only an origins but also to the storyline in general the meteor is actually filled with 115 and is the cause of the zombie outbreak in shinonuma so that is why the meteor is there if you were ever wondering why it was there it's filled with 115 everyone got infected a lot of people died all right, so that was the number two. Let's go ahead and move on to number three, which is actually a collection of different creepy and eerie sound effects or audio cues that you get in the map. So there are actually a ton of mysterious sounds found around Shinonuma, one being a woman crying by the meteor. So if you stand around it, you'll hear a woman cry. Another being children singing nursery rhymes by the fishing hut. So that's really creepy. In the storage area, you'll hear the sound of banging metal along with a whisper saying, save my soul. There's just a ton of stuff. And then lastly, if one goes to the bookshelf in the doctor's quarters and taps on it, you can hear a maniacal laughter. There was a ton of little creepy audio here and there that would pop up. I love what these old maps did. So hopefully we'll get more of these when Black Ops 3 comes out. So, all right, so moving on to number four. The word Tunguska can be found in one of the two small huts connected to the balcony outside of the spawn point. This is a reference to a real life explosion caused by a meteor in Russia and might also be what inspired this map. So I'm going to be talking about this one along with the next one in the next episode of Behind the Horror Declassified. But for right now, let's move on to the final one for this one. And it's going to be that in the doctor's quarters on the ground near the Perca-Cola machine, there is a note reading, it could be used to power harp. I guess I'm probably thinking, what the hell is harp? Well, it's a pretty weird conspiracy theory, and we're going to cover this along with Tunguska in the next episode of Behind the Horror Declassified. But for right now, know that it's a pretty out there th conspiracy theory involving manipulation of weather. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of 5 Things You Didn't Know About Shinonuma. To end it off strong, I just want to give you a couple of pretty cool things about Shinonuma. It was the first map to introduce the light, the beam of light to find the mystery box. It was the first map to actually have crawler zombies that could crawl upright and not just on their bellies and then finally there was a lot of different models in the coding that said that this map possibly had different style perk machines in the game anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching there's a ton of other stuff about shinonuma that we could get into and wanted to cover some of the big ones and some of the cooler ones so hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode if you did leave a like leave a favorite it does get the content out there helps the channel grow and of course if you are new if you enjoy content like this if you want to see more like this in the future guys you're already in the right place got you covered when it comes to zombies from in-depth stuff to theories to news to leaks it's all here make sure to subscribe i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace